Hello young coders welcome to coding with tane Last class we have learned how to how to open code org and log in in it and learn some actions functions and behaviors In this class we will go more deep into code org and today we will learn how to write our name So first go to view go to code org code code org and click on create then view all projects and you will see the projects then when you go scroll down you will see view you will see four uh, uh, labs sprite lab app lab game lab and artist lab when you click on view full list you will see more then click on the frozen one which is at the drawing component click on the frozen then first rename your project frozen letter app then click on save then you have to write the actions loops match logic functions and variables on this when run so when we click on run as you can see nothing is happening because we have not added our code to the when run block so first we will reset the code this here is the speed of time so i will show you how to move forward in the actions click on move forward and drag it and put it near the vendor block now when i click on run you can see that elsa is moving forward by 100 pixels now if i make this 100 as 200 pixels and reset the code and then click on enter now when i click on 200 pixels it is going to go 200 pixels but when i reset and make the bar of fastness more she'll go really fast and to adjust it we should move this so this is very slow and this is very fast so i'm keeping it on middle and reset and run so our task for now is to create the first letter in our name So my name is Tane, and the first letter of my name is T. So first, I'm going to write the letter T. So let me delete this. Okay. So you might be wondering what is jump. So I will tell you about that too. So reset. So what will Elsa do if we click on jump? So let's run. she will jump forward without creating the lines which we noticed in the move forward block without creating the icy snow line so she will go to a place without creating any marks so now what is this jump forward or backward so i'm going to take backward and by i am going to take 200 pixels now click on reset and run so she went away out of the canvas because 200 pixels was way too much so i'm going to decrease it 100 pixels reset and run yes she went to the top corner now i want to create the letter t so the letter t is like this and this so i'm going to move turn i'm going to turn elsa right by 90 degrees and then i am going to make her move this side so let us see how she turns so it, she goes backwards and turn to the right so her right is this and she is going to turn right by 90 degrees so now i am going to click on reset and go to actions and click on move forward by almost about 150 pixels so when i click on run 
she moves 150 pixel so I'm going to do same for the other side so as you can see I have created the code for the other other side of the T now I'm going to reset it and show you how it works so first I'm going to set it as slow so first Elsa jumps backwards then she turns right by 90 degrees and she moves forward by 150 degrees then she again jumps backwards by 150 and then she turns backwards means turns left by 180 degrees and then again moves forward creating a line to the top line of the T now she has to come to the center and then create the bottom line of the T so we are going to make her jump backward so she will come here to here without making a line so I'm going to copy this and then paste this it's very simple so now I'm going to do it again you can see so she went in the place now she needs to turn left by 90 degrees to uh, to go down so I'm going to turn left turn her left by 90 degrees so I'm going to set this to 90 so 90 degrees now I after I have set this to 90 degrees so we have created we have made Elsa come to the center so now we are going to see how she does that now she turned she turned to the other side so I'm going to turn right so reset and then run now she's turning to this side so that means we should make her move this side to create the letter T so go to actions move forward by 200 pixels because 150 is very short it will be only this long and it will be only this it will not look like a T so I'm going to take 200 pixels and then going to reset it and then run it as you can see she has completed the T letter I'll add another 50 to make it look better okay and now now we are going to see the final result of the T so yes that looks really beautiful right so we can also do this in another type of thing in another type of um, app in the code.org so the frozen letter app can be made using the artist component which we have saw so now I'm going to copy whole the whole code and then I'm going to put it in the artist component so I'm going to go to um, artist so this is the artist component when we go to this artist component it is the same but it is a little bit different we can we can add colors and we we have brushes we can set colors set random colors we can set gradient radians and uh, we can set width pattern stickers you can draw you can do many other things but elsa has only one color which is like the frozen one and so we, we can also do this so I'm going to copy the Elsa code into this code and I will show you guys how it looks in the artist lab so I have added the code into the artist lab so I'm going to name it as artist letter app so yes and click on save so as you can see in the image the code was a little bit uh, different in the artist lab so it made it a horizontal t so we are going to make it go by so let's see what ha what is wrong here so the artist is facing to this side to the right side while the else house facing to the front side so we are going to make the artist face to the 
face to the front side by making him face left by 90 degrees okay is so not 90 i think 270 yeah that looks perfect so this is our tea in artist lab so another cool feature about the artist lab is so in the brushes one we can set our color yeah so we can set color to red or any other color purple blue white it's invisible and we can set to any other color and we have many other new features which we will mostly discuss in the next class so we can set the width also so let's set the width to tell me a number okay let's set it to 50 let's see 50 wow it looks very thick looks nice actually and we can also set the pattern dots or smileys like this one or bricks or black lines diamonds and flowers let's see what do we have here yes we can draw stickers also so let's see what does it do wow fun right yeah so this was for today's class in the next class we will learn about new features and other new things so in today's class we have learned about how to draw your names and how to write and move forward we have learned about stickers colors with we have learned jump turn move and many other features so in the next class we'll probably learn something new again so this is the end of the class bye bye young coders so for you today's project is to make a project similar to this but with your letter with your uh, name first letter of your name so that's for that is your project please send it in the comments okay bye like share and subscribe to coding with tanay see you later young coders